What is going on everybody? Trevor Olson here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ranch. Today we are going to be reviewing the latest batch from Barrel Bourbon, the Batch 34. Hit the B-roll. Here we go, Barrel Bourbon, Batch 34. I am so excited for this batch. Last year, the Batch 33 kind of blew my mind. It was the first bourbon that I've tried from them. Only took me 33 batches to jump on board, but finally did, and absolutely incredible. It made it in my top 2022 whiskeys of the year, so absolutely killed it. Makes me super excited for the Batch 34, so let's just get right into it. Give you some tasting notes, let you know uh, how it compares to the Batch 33. See if this is something you should go and pick up. So the Batch 34 coming in 114.62 proof. It is a blend 6, 8, 10, and 15 year old whiskeys from Indiana, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Kind of the you know, standard thing, the different ages though. This batch started with an eight year old base, then they blended in, you know, all of the other stuff to have some love child delicious bottle. They don't really give the breakdown of how much of which age is in there, but doesn't really matter as long as it tastes good. So let's just see what this brings to the table. Now I'm gonna be comparing it a lot to the batch 33. So if that's something you have, that's really the only bottle I have from them that I can directly compare it to. So if you have that one, if you liked that one, you loved that one, or you hated that one, that's kind of what we're gonna be comparing it to, um, just so you know going forward. Up front, nice and spicy. Same kind of thing with the 33 to me. Pretty orangey, like orange forward, candied orange. It's not like just smelling an actual orange, but maybe an orange candy full of sugar, candied orange, zesty, and spicy. Unlike the 33, this one takes you into the citrus land, but then some of those older barrels kind of starts mellowing things out, brings it down a bit, like darkens it up a little bit. Whereas the 33 was just really bright, orange peel, you know, kind of in your face. This one has that, but then it's just blanketed with what I'm getting, um, some sort of oak influence, some barrel influence. It reminds me of just cold weather, if that makes sense. Like Christmas time, but come on, we're past that. Some of you guys are still experiencing snow apocalypse, so this smells like something if you're locked in the house, like just pour this, it'll warm you up. All right, let's taste it. Let's see what it's got. Oh yeah, up front, just like that 33. It's kind of like one of those orange ice cream bars. What are those called? Like a dream sickle. Okay, that's kind of what's up front is this darker orange. It's not as bright and lively as the 33 was with the orange. I think this is much more candied away from the peelness of the orange. Um, and then it transforms. So this is like a roller coaster. Okay, up front is the citrusy note as it makes its way through your palate is where it starts changing to me. Like I'm getting much more tannic on the back end. Some of the oaky barrel characteristics um, from the older bourbon, I'm assuming. It gets you away from the, the fruitiness. So, but that's the good thing. That's a good thing is where it's giving me both. Up front, fruit, back the palate, tannic. It just takes you through a journey. There's almost something in the middle of the palate, like a, like a donut. Like, if you go to a China buffet, I really want some China buffet. They have those little donuts, the sugar, sugary donut. I kind of get that. I kind of get that. Maybe I just really want China buffet, but there's something sugary, 
bread-like, some sort of sugar donut or baked good in the middle of the palate. I think those other notes too are kind of transforming the orange. It, it's, I wouldn't say it's not tasting orangey. It kind of makes it seem like there's other fruit notes going on too. Other dark fruits, so apricot, you get the candied orange. I think that's kind of mixing in with some of the tannins, the oakiness, some of this burnt vanilla going on. Donut, can't forget the donut. This is fantastic. I mean, I've been having my way with it. I've been enjoying this a lot. I think it's a really good representation of blending anything from six to 15 and how you do it right. When they're blending stuff like this, anything from six to 15, you want the strengths of all of them to, to help each other. So you want some of the lively, brighter, fresher side of a, you know, a six year old bourbon, but then you want some of those tannins, you want some of those darker notes from the 15 to give you a full spectrum of flavors. And I think, I think this got it. I think it, they nailed this one. Another good thing too about blending from three different states, if you do it right, you shouldn't really be able to identify exactly where the bourbon came from. You know what I'm saying? I think some people, you know, see the word Tennessee and they're directly looking for something that they don't like from that state. And, you know, I don't think this has it. I think this just is a good bourbon. You could, you pour this in a blind, you probably wouldn't be able to tell, you know, which state it came from. It's just really good. Overall, I think you should ask yourself what you thought of the Batch 33. Again, that one was a little more, more orangey, more fruit, more fresh. I think this one has a lot of that, but it has a lot more of the darker barrel notes in it. You, it, you know, you're getting the aged bourbon aspect to it. So, so as a lover of the Batch 33, I'm also a lover of the Batch 34. It's doing things a little different, really, you know, freshen it up a little bit. Another solid blend from them. If you are a barrel bourbon lover, this one's probably a must buy. It's really dang good. Barrel's been killing it. They know how to blend, okay? They are masters over there. They're just putting together some really good stuff. I'm absolutely loving what they're doing. So cheers to you, Barrel. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, go leave a comment what you think about Batch 33, Batch 34, what you think of Barrel, what did you have for dinner? I don't know, go leave a comment. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, weirdo. And until next time, I'm Trevor Wilson. See ya in the next video.